welcome to the stage, Ryan Serhant. Brad. This is fun. There's a lot of people in this room. You're my people, though. We're all the same. By show of hands, how many people are in here are real estate agents, just so I know? Oh, we won. We won. We did it. We did it. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. I know it's a little rainy. It's crazy. It's the start of a brand new year. 2024 is going to be the greatest year of all time, right? Exactly. It has to be. That's the only way to predict the future, right? We, we say what we want it to be. And I am uh, future obsessed, right? I am future obsessed. And that's what I want to talk to you about today for a short period of time. And I muscled my way out here. Usually I do panel discussions, but I was like, Brad, I need to be out here by myself because I have an idea. And these are my people. I'm a real estate agent. Your agents were all in sales. And there are a significant amount of industry challenges ahead of us, right? There's a lot. Every agent I talk to, things are tough. Things are hard. 2023 was weird, although I talked to one agent, it was the best year of their career. And then I talked to another agent, and it's really, really, really hard. And I get it, because there's a lot that we're contending with right now. And the best piece of advice that I was ever given, and I think a lot of you have been with me for a long time, whether you watched me on Million Dollar Listings starting in 2012, or you've followed me through my YouTube vlog experiment that I started six, seven years ago, or you watched me dance on TikTok. Right? Uh -huh. You've been with me for a while. But through all of that time together, really, because I look at all of you like, like my family, because we've been doing this together for so long, regardless of the market that you're in or your experience level, there's always challenges. Right? Times are always hard. My first day in this business was the day Lehman Brothers filed for bankruptcy. Right? The subprime mortgage collapsed. Everyone in my office quit. And I was by myself in cowboy boots and khaki pants. And I was like, let's do this. It's going to be great. And that's where I started doing my first rentals and putting myself out there. So even though the market was the absolute worst it had ever been until 2023, uh, you find a way to move forward. You find a way to move forward. Every day is page one. So what industry challenges do we have today? We have, we have high interest rates. Rates are higher. They've started to come down. But rates are high. Things are tough. Right? What does that cause? That causes things that people freak out about, like lawsuits. There's law. I think you're actually going to have someone on stage later today with Brad talking about class action industry lawsuits that could change the way our business moves forward, possibly. We have global conflict, war. Right? Things are hard everywhere. We have record low inventory. We have, we, have, we have low inventory. We have an affordability crisis. Right? And those are only a few of them. That's all I could fit on this slide. We have a lot of challenges. And what frustrates me the most, and why I wanted to do this, why I started my own company like a lunatic a couple years ago, why I've always tried to do things a little bit different and push things forward, is because we, as an industry, the real estate industry, the brokerage industry, how do we respond to challenges like this? Do we innovate? Do we actually move the business forward? Right? What does the industry do? We, we create chatbots, and we, we put them on the blockchain. And then what do we do right now, especially in 2024? Oh, you called it. If it doesn't have AI on it, then it's no good. We, our business has a problem. The real estate brokerage business follows trends. As long as other people are doing it kind of, we like to wrap it, white label it, and put it out and say, oh, oh. We're here, we're here, we're fixing all these problems, all these changes. Your life as an agent, go do everything you've always done forever. But now, as long as you do it this way, this way, this way, and use that and that, you're going to be totally fine. It's going to be good, no problem. Pay us your split, get out of my door. Right? Right. But again, what is so frustrating to me is I watch other industries, as we all do, that look at these hard challenges, these big changes that are in front of us, and they're actually moving things forward. Technology with AI now is operating at 10x efficiencies and soon to be greater. In medicine, they are now diagnosing and curing diseases faster than ever before. Transportation, we have reusable rockets now. 
in an effort to create a multi-planetary species. You and cars, pretty soon, they're gonna recognize the shape of your butt so that when you sit into your car, you're, the car's gonna know. So I'm gonna sit down and the car's gonna say, it feels like Ryan. I'm going to move the steering wheel and put it back because he likes to go back. And I'm going to put the AC on blast because he gets hot very easy. That's going to know that. I'll take that innovation. That's great, right? That's perfect. I love that. And you know what's amazing about that? Not just the butt thing, but all of those changes, all of those innovations, as tough as they are, they move those industries forward because they're hard to solve which means they create great businesses. Like I said, and I'm sure a lot of you too, got into the business either during the Great Recession with me, or you got into the business during the pandemic when we started our company. Tough, tough time, unless you were in Florida, right? It's tough times. <laughs> and how do we respond to these hard changes to make great businesses? We do what I just showed you before, which is we jump on trends and we say this and we say that, but we don't actually push the industry forward. And so I'm super, super nervous that today, tomorrow, going forward, our industry as a whole is gonna continue to make the same mistakes of the past. And nothing is actually gonna move forward. And we're gonna let people attack us. The industry is not gonna really change. We're gonna experience you know, contraction in our communities. And I'm all about our community. I'm all about education. We have a whole education business through Seller Like Sirhan that, that is growing every single day because all I care about is helping every single person in this room and everyone in this industry. But I'm afraid that we're gonna continue to make the same mistakes. So what do I mean by that? I mean, let's look at 1.0, okay? So brokerage 1.0 was super easy but it definitely wasn't simple. Like that guy had a Rolodex on his desk. The MLS was a book and it was easy. It wasn't simple, like you had to get there, right? You had to go drive there. Same thing like the bank. Like the bank you used to have to, you want money, you want to deposit money, go to the bank. See Bob the banker. That was it, easy, but definitely not simple. Same thing for shopping. And I don't want to go back there. I don't want to make the same mistakes of the past and go back there, because if I go back there, that becomes me. <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. I'm rude, okay? But I can't go back to that guy. That guy would never make it, okay? So how do we make sure that we don't repeat those same mistakes, right? How does the industry respond to 1.0 version? Okay, I got excited. It's like, okay, everything's going to be greater. But how do we respond? How does our industry responded, right? We've got that, but also that, as long as you master the first thing, and also that, and that, and then also this. So as long as you can master all of these screens, and I watch these people, and PropTech, and all this stuff, and all these companies, and they're like, yeah, do everything that you did in 1.0. You gotta go out there, meet the clients, meet them in the rain, carry the babies, do the open houses, have the muffins, dress up in a lion outfit so people understand, do all the work, do all the phone calls, that's, that's what I do. I'm a real estate agent just like you. And as long as you can master all of these screens, everything will be easier, but it's definitely not simple. It's not. Because one of those I can use on my phone, the other I need my laptop for, the other I was told I need to get a VA somewhere else in the world, but they operate on my timeline so it's gonna be totally fine. And as long as I do all those things, everything's gonna be okay. And it just really, really, really frustrates me. Because what I realized that I needed as an agent was I needed my time back. And I needed things to be simple so I could go and do what I do best as an agent, what you do best as an agent. And what do you do best? You work with people. You meet people, you create relationships. Like Brad just said, you remain amazingly optimistic about the future, no matter how scary it is. No matter how many things are happening in the world that you, you can't change, you keep waking up every day and you keep moving forward. So in 2017, uh, I decided that, you know what, maybe I should start interviewing at other brokerage firms and see, because I'd never done it before. I'd never seen it and I'd never been anywhere. So I started doing these interviews. I met with everybody. 
from 2019, 2017 to 2019, I met with everybody to ask, okay, great. What's so great about this broker? What are you going to do? What's so amazing? Show me your secret sauce. And every firm, for the most part, came down to basically the same thesis, which was, and I'll paraphrase, come to us and we're going to make you better. Come to us and we're going to make you great. And after all those interviews for two years, my response was basically like, I don't know, I, I kind of think I'm already pretty great. I don't know, like I kind of know what I'm doing. I, I don't think I need you to make me great. I actually need you to be great for me. Why isn't there a firm that's, that's better for me that helps me buy my time back? I don't want to have to do all this stuff. I don't want to do all these screens and do all these things. And no, I'm already, you know how hard my job is? And what was so frustrating is I was meeting with all these people who don't actually do what we do, who aren't actually agents in the field every day going through the ups and the downs. They don't know what it's like to host an open house that no one shows up to. And then you got to go tell the seller why. They don't know what it's like thinking about what my update's going to be. They don't know what it's like saying, I haven't had a closing in four months. How am I going to make money this year? Right? They don't. And so what I realized was I need something simple and easy. And someone's got to create it. I need something that is simple and easy for my life so I can buy my time back so I can lead a better life, so I can do what I want to do, doing what I am uniquely qualified to do, which is be an amazing salesperson. Because houses aren't going away. I've said this before, I think on this stage, that until a house sells itself to another house, <laughs> we're gonna be here. Is the way we create transactions gonna change? Possibly. Are the relationships that we have with people going to change? Probably not. I think humans need human interaction because they do other stuff. Everybody is busy. So I thought to myself by asking my own agents, my own staff, right, and the thousands and thousands of agents that we have in rooms like these, and I give speeches all over the world, and through Sell It Like Sirhant, talking to agents that we have all over the world, what, what, would, what do you want? Like, what would actually solve all the hard problems and the industry challenges that we are facing, what would that look like? So for example, let's take something simple, right? Like pricing a property. So we have a building, we actually have a launch of this building tonight. If anyone's in New York, you are in New York. Ha ha ha, you're right here. So 548 West 22nd Street, um, I need this priced. Now, there's systems, there's, there's websites, there's things, it's easy, you click a button, but I want it priced the way I price properties. And so you should be able to text or just email your brokerage, that's why you're there, and have them do it. I don't have time to go price a property, educate me, but also do it the way I want, to be, I want it done. I, deliver it to me the way I want it delivered. Work with me the way I work, because I'm the business, I'm the entrepreneur, I'm the agent, I'm the one who brings in the GCI, not you, right? So, okay, I want this done, so that's great. So we, we figured out how to do that, okay? but it's still not simple enough. So we started coming up with a way to make it a little simpler. Because what if I could just speak it? What if I was on the run, right, on the go? Because we're on the go all the time. How many of you are on the go? In between appointments, you're running down the street, you're in the car, right, you're in the subway, you're bouncing around. Let's say you're running down the street, and you, I don't know, I bump into Brad. Inman on the street, right? And I'm like, Brad, what's going on? And he says, oh, oh, I'm thinking about selling my house. I'm like, okay, great. I'll send you everything you need to do. And then I make a little note for myself or I tell somebody else and then I run around and then I forget about it. But what if your brokerage actually solved that problem? What if it was as simple as just speaking in your phone and everything would get done for you in like less than 30 seconds? Because I need, I need that contact I just met on the street, I want them added to my database the way that I like it. I want CMAs done, but I want three of them done exactly the way I like with my branding and my tone of voice at the range of prices the way I like it. I want an email drafted as follow-up and I want it sitting in my inbox so I can send it when I get home later. I want a branded listing presentation ready to go because for some reason Brad has no patience and he wants me to come and meet him and pitch him on his property at 3 p.m. And I also want reminders and follow-ups and everything done. Your brokerage should do that for you. You laugh. 
that guy. <laughs> and it, it could be real. So as I was interviewing all these firms for years and years and years and just thinking, how could I have a relationship with my brokers that redefines the way that I work? That would move the industry forward. That would be innovative. That would change the game. So we built something. And I gotta be honest with you, um, I've never done this before. I know some of you are looking at me and I'm the reality TV guy who was dressed as a lion that one time with cupcakes, right? I'm that guy from YouTube, I do this, I cr I'm crazy, I'm cra and I am crazy completely. You can ask my wife, she just told me upstairs, she said, you're crazy. And I, don't know, I don't know how I've lasted this long. But I know the pain that you go through and I know the problem that you have and I wanna solve it. So for the past couple years, we've been building something and it's called Simple. And it takes all the work that you spend all your time doing now in all those screens everywhere, screens and screens and screens, because that's the solution apparently, and all the screens go away. So we're building technology at Sirhan, but this is not, this is not a tech story. Okay? We are using AI in ways that I think everybody else is missing, but this is not an AI story. This is a support story, because the greatest businesses have the greatest customer service. How do you get paid? With great customer service, right? With great customer service. And the proof is in the pudding. It's actually working. We've been testing this in four of our markets, in four states, and it's wild to watch. We put it in front of industry experts and their pupils dilate, and it's wild to watch as we work to redefine the way that you work. Because what we're doing is we're taking technology, logistics, and human support to give you, the agent, and me too, I mean, I, this is what I do, the greatest customer support level of service the industry has ever seen, to move the industry forward. Because the last thing I need is another screen on a screen with this and that and that. I don't want to do any of it. So how do we as an industry measure success going forward? So far, it's been, yeah, sell more. Okay, that's fine. Right? It's been generate more leads. Okay, that's fine. But there's something about the past couple years, especially going through COVID, that taught me that life is really, really, really short. And I don't know if anyone in here has ever lost anyone that's close to you, but you realize that when that happens. Life is fleeting. Those moments are fleeting. And we only have so much time here. We only have so much time during the day. And I want to be the leader and the champion for change that says, I'm going to help you take your days and I'm going to multiply them and give you your time back so that you can do more of what you're really, really great at doing. Imagine if all the administrative tasks that you have to do right now, you, you don't have to do anymore. What would you do with that time? That's actually really scary. Changing the way you work is really, really, really scary. Because what it does is it forces you to think about one of two things. One, okay, I guess I'm going to do more business. I guess I'll use that time to go network more. I told myself I was gonna do that in 2024. That's my New Year's resolution. I'm gonna meet more people. I'm gonna meet more strangers. I'm gonna meet 15 new people a day. I can do that now because now I have the time. Because I'm no longer successful just by being busy. And I'm actually putting a lot of that work back on my brokerage because that's why they're there. Or you look at the time that you've now saved in your day and you say to yourself, I'm going to spend more time with my family. I'm actually going to go do pickup at 3 p.m., which I haven't done in a while because I've been so busy. And that, more than anything, that doesn't just make your agent and brokerage relationship simple. It doesn't just make your work life simple, it makes your life simpler so you can have more life. Like, I, I don't know what happens to me tomorrow, you know? I don't think any of us do. Every day is a big surprise. And I don't know if what we're doing here with Simple is the right way forward. I, I, I don't know, I don't 
don't know. I hope so. But what are we all doing to reinvent how we work, to push our industry forward and make life so much better? I didn't know in 2020, when New York City shut down and a couple of us huddled in a rented townhouse in Tribeca and I put on a Superman outfit with a period and grabbed a five foot microphone and started running around asking people if I should open up my own real estate brokerage and most people were like, Ryan Seacrest, who are you? <laughs> and, uh, uh, and every single person said no. They all said no, absolutely. Why would you ever do that? Tech is gonna take over the business. New York City is dead. Everything is over, Armageddon Day. And I, I kind of took that as like a hard yes. Yeah, you should. You should go and do it. Because when everybody says no and everyone jumps on one trend, just like they're doing now, my response and our collective response should always be, okay, good, let's leave them over there. No problem. This, this, this branch on my own oak tree of life, this is where the happiness is. Like, this is where the magic is. On the outside of the crowds, on the outside of that bubble. So, where is the industry headed? I don't think anyone in here can predict the future. I know I can't. But like I said at the beginning, your ability to anticipate what's happening next to the benefit of your own business so that you can create amazing opportunities is incredible. Something I said a lot last year was that markets should never dictate your outcome. Markets should dictate your strategy. And if everyone took that to heart, imagine where we'd be. So I think what we're working on at Sirhant changes how everyone works going forward. I think so, but maybe there's a better idea. Maybe it's in this room. And that would be amazing. Because I do know one thing, which is the industry is gonna move forward. We are gonna be here. And it's gonna be up to us as entrepreneurs, us as solopreneurs, us as people, as the next generation, who are gonna make that future a reality. And so my charge to all of you is to join me, starting right now. Let's put our collective brains together and unite as one solid we that takes us forward as the next generation of industry leaders to change the future for all of us. Thank you for listening. <laughs>